Soundstripe. Yeah. Back again, back and we ain't never gotta worry, it's all up from here now. Finally that one. Do it day to day. Let go. It's every day that you won't find a cane tree. And everywhere lights turn green for you. No matter what they want, girl, yeah, it was on you. And every move that you made, it always came through. It ain't no looking for no up and down. It's tell your family that you made it out. And ain't no worries, no, don't have a doubt. Hello everyone, this is Tania with Talk Time with Miss T, and today's lesson will be coming out of Ephesians 1, 1 through 14, and it talks about Christ brings spiritual blessings. <clears throat> so, I'll be coming out of the contemporary English version of the Bible, um, and I'm going to start with verse 1. From Paul, chosen by God to be an apostle of Jesus, of Christ Jesus, to God's people who live in Euphorus and are faithful followers of Christ Jesus. I pray that God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ will be kind to you and will bless you with peace. So chapter verse 3 starts with Christ brings spiritual blessings. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ in the spiritual blessings in Christ that brought us from heaven. Before the word was created, God had Christ chose us to live with him and to be his holy and innocent and loving people. God was kind and decided that Christ would choose us to be God's own adopted children. God was very kind to us because of the Son who dearly loves us, and so we should praise God. <clears throat> Christ sacrificed his, life, his life's blood to set us free, which means that our sins are now forgiven. Christ did this because God was kind to us. God has great wisdom and understanding, and by what Christ has done, God has shown in him in his own mysterious ways. Then, when the time is right, God will do all the things he has planned, and Christ will bring together everything in heaven and on earth. God always does what he plans, and that's why he appointed Christ to choose us. He did this so that we Jews would bring honor to him and bring the first ones who have become because of him. Christ also brought you the truth, which is the good news about how you can be saved. You put your faith in Christ and were given the promise, Holy Spirit, to show you that you belong to God. The Spirit also makes us sure that we will be given what God has stored up for his people. Then we will be set free and God will be honored and praised. <clears throat> so that is, that's good. You know, the book of Ephesians in general talks about the greeting, Christ brings spiritual blessings, a new life in unity with Christ, and then the final greetings. So um, some of the other things that we're going to cover in a different session would be Paul's prayer, then from death to life, united by Christ, Paul's missions with the Gentiles, Christ's love for us, unity with Christ, um, the old life and new life, rules of the new life, Living people of light, husbands and wives, and I think there's one more. Children and parents, slaves and masters, and the fight against evil, and then the final greeting. Um, so those are just a few things that's covered in these six chapters of the book of Ephesians. Um... One of the things um, that I've been dealing with a lot um, is a lot of death that has been happening in my family. And so I've been doing the Resurrected um, Soul Tours, um, which is 
road trip, just finding self and all that great things. But even over here, when it talks about living as people of light, one of the things it says down here, this is chapter 5, verse 14. Light shows up everywhere, just as the scripture says. Wake up from your sleep and rise from death. Then Christ will shine on you. 15. Act like people of good sense and not like fools. These are evil times, so make everything, every minute count. Don't be stupid. Instead, find out what the Lord wants you to do. Don't destroy yourself by getting drunk, but let the Spirit fill your life. When you meet together, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs as you praise the Lord with all your heart. Always use the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to thank God, the Father of everything. So that's just a little snippet, right? And I think I'm going to break it down into different parts. Um, there's another series that I think I'm going to include this week. Um... It actually talks about, let me see. Trusting God through the struggles, right? So with that, they have a devotional and then Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. So today is May 15th and it's the first of, and it's a four-day series. Um... So I'm going to probably do that a little later. Um, I'm actually on my way to, I just got off work. I'm on my way to go exercise, um, meet with a business partner, and then oh, business coach. And then I'm um, going to do this. Plus, I have homework. Um, as you all know, I have started going to school so that I can open up my wellness spa. So that has been a lot on me lately. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. Um, but I'm pushing through it, um, because I want to get all that God has for me. And I, you know, wish that on you as well. Um, so until next time, you all be blessed. Um, have a magnificent day. Continue to stay prayed up and remember what God has for you is for you. Until next time. Oh, don't forget, follow me on all social media platforms. Please subscribe to Tania W. On YouTube, Tania is spelled T-A-T-N-A-I space W. That is the way that it's spelled in the Old Testament of the King James Version of the Bible. Um, the name itself means um, Overseer of Gifts and Tributes. I use my name as an acronym for Taking Action Toward Neglect, Abuse, and Instability. Um, so that's one of the cornerstones in which I'm standing on. And I am trying to get these followers, these subscriptions, this content time so that God can bless me in more ways so that I can bring you all different experiences and exploring different things. Um, so thank you for your support. On TikTok, I'm Tania W. On Google, I'm Tania W. On YouTube, I'm Tania W. On Facebook, I'm Tania LLC, and on Instagram, I am Tania LLC underscore ATL. Until next time, you all be blessed. Bye-bye, and have a blessed day.